Yes, we got the truck back. In case you're new to the channel, the transmission in our truck went out in November just after Thanksgiving. We got it back in February, and 30 miles later, that transmission went out too. And here we are, March 31st, and we're finally back in our truck just in time for my birthday. Yes, that's right. It's my birthday. I'm 48. And you know what? It doesn't feel a lot different than when I was 47. But it feels a lot different than when I was, oh, I don't know, 38? But you know, when you get older, you get new things. Better things. Like grandkids. And yes, well, he's perfect. You know, as difficult of a time as we've had with our truck, wouldn't it be nice if we could get new body parts as easily as we can get a transmission? Anyway, Carolyn took me for fish and chips, and then we continued the birthday celebration in the mountains, and that means a return to making videos. Finally. It's been a tough year for making videos, at least for our channel. But I can't complain to any of you about how difficult things have been so far this year, or last year, or the year before. But hey, it could always get worse, am I right? Like that. That could happen. People are fighting at the Oscars now? Really? The most boring night on television, and that's even if you watch television. Did you know that it's estimated that these two are worth close to like a half a billion dollars, give or take? I guess it just goes to show that money can't buy happiness. But you'd think all that money would help you learn how to take a joke. Now listen, I've either been bald or going bald for over 30 years now. I've been shaving my head for about 20 years. The truth is that going bald is not easy for a man, and it's even more difficult for a woman. I get that, but it's not worth fighting over. Especially at the Oscars, Will Smith. What are you thinking? Nothing like going to the mountains to clear your head, and this trip was simple. Start on Skyline Drive, then jump on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yes, I know we've done that a lot, but it's been a while, and you know, we wanted to test our new transmission. And what better place to test a new transmission than in the mountains? Then again, I'll find any excuse to go to the mountains. And don't worry about the weather. The weather will be fine. Okay, mostly fine. You know, you've got to be positive. You've got to think happy thoughts. It's my birthday. What could go wrong? Okay, trust me, everything turns out just fine, and the scenery and the rest of this video is amazing, but I just wanted to take a moment to welcome you to the channel. We are so grateful that you're taking time to watch this video. We make a variety of video content, and we really hope you'll hit the subscribe button. Come on, it's my birthday, and as a bonus gift, hit the bell for notifications. We try to respond to every comment, so be sure to tell us what you think about these amazing mountains in Virginia, or tell us anything. Comments help our channel a lot. Okay, back to the Blue Ridge Parkway.
So yes, it was raining and it got extremely foggy, but we've made a lot of videos on this part of the Blue Ridge Parkway, so we know a thing or two about the weather. We accessed the Blue Ridge Parkway at Afton, Virginia. This is the northernmost entrance point to the parkway. The first several miles on the parkway is a lot like Skyline Drive, and the weather in this region is a lot like where we live. If you're local, I know it's not exactly the same. Obviously, this area gets more snow and it's a little cooler in the summer. But I'm saying that the weather where we live in Harrisonburg is close to the weather in this area, generally speaking. But when you cross the James River, the weather slowly changes. Now, I'm not saying that these changes are drastic or anything. It's just that the weather patterns are a little different. Depending on the elevation, it's slightly warmer. And sometimes, if it's raining in our region, it's not raining in this region. There are some really interesting reasons as to why this is, and I talk about that kind of stuff in other videos. But all I want to say about it in this video is that if you're in the mountains, any mountain range, weather can vary from one region to the next. Now, when it comes to the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia, this is our favorite area. And this isn't as remote as you think. The Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia didn't have as much to work with as the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. And what I mean by didn't have as much to work with, the Virginia mountains didn't offer as much real estate. If you visit the parkway in North Carolina, you can go through long stretches where you're literally in the middle of nowhere and you're often surrounded by wilderness areas. But the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia was designed to make you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Don't get me wrong, if you're from the city or you're not used to driving in the mountains, this is probably in the middle of nowhere to you. And let me be clear, there's no cell service back here. You know, come to think of it, there's very little cell service, if any, on most of the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina or Virginia. And if you break down, it's a long walk. Okay, so come to think of it, maybe this is in the middle of nowhere for most people. But as far out in the middle of nowhere as this looks and feels, and is for most people, from one of the parkway exits, you're only about 30 minutes or less from the interstate. Well, that's another birthday for the books. You know, I'm kind of used to birthdays at this point. I've had quite a few. I guess I'm becoming quite an expert at birthdays. It's nice to know I've mastered something. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and leave a comment. And since you're here already, go ahead and click one of these videos. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life.